What up, what up, guys? Your boy, Just King ZA. Welcome back to the Just King ZA podcast. And uh, yeah, man, today we're going to be talking about Pastamboro, uh, the, 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 the well known Pastamboro who just uh, went to uh, primary school, Matsidiso Primary School, where his grandchildren attend. And he went there and fetched them, but uh, in a very uh, weird way, he was holding machetes and uh, intimidating some of the teachers there and uh, the people there and really just uh, taking those children and uh, yeah it's a big training issue and uh, they had a security guard holding a uh, AK-47 uh, so let's get straight into it but before we get into it guys please subscribe to the channel don't forget please subscribe to the channel so that you may be able to get my videos when I post them uh, and so that you don't miss some of my videos because the algorithm might not suggest it to you or show it to you um, so if you're subscribed it's going to show it to you uh, when you reload your page when you go to your home page when you go out of youtube when you come back uh, you might just see my video there uh, rather than you catching me uh, sometimes here and there um, yeah man also to grow the community of course have the uh, good community so that we can drop these videos we can even uh, expand the content and do hour long content three hour long content uh, interviews format um, whatever it is or interviews um you know maybe i can go somewhere meet some people have like a interview session with some of you know at an event with some of the politicians or musicians you know what i'm saying those are some of the ideas that uh, i'm gonna have for this channel but yeah you need to subscribe so let's get straight into it man uh so pastamboro hey what a and remember during the 2010s like his name was huge uh, like was with he's still a well-known pastor uh very very uh what, what do i say charismatic i don't know if i should say charismatic but um hey yeah, just hear me saying charismatic it's almost like that video <laughs> uh, what should i call you eh? what do i call you a lesbian gay what do i call you <laughs> reminds me of that video uh, why are you gay so uh let's get straight into it um so he's been a well-known pastor doing a lot you know in terms of like uh, garnering attention and uh, a lot of talks a lot of rumors about him a lot of you know a lot of things weird things some of it is dark you know what i'm saying but uh, we used to be scared by some of the, the rumors that they say about him uh back when we were young um so the guy you know is a part of this whole uh, charismatic church vibes going on um you know he prays for people and all that but uh, he's got a very very unique way of living he's got like long nails that's the thing that has been uh, known about him that he, he, he that's his signature brand uh, long nails he's got long long nails and uh, yeah, yeah, I was surprised to even see now he still got those uh, long nails, you know. I wonder what's the the whole thing about that, you know. So, uh, very interesting to see him. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I ever heard anything about him. Uh, so, now on this video, what happened is that what we saw was him at the school. And a uh, security guard of, of his holding a AK-47. Uh, just casually holding it, not shoot, no, not pointing at anyone, just holding it and just standing by. And then we saw him uh, holding a machet at a school. He, I believe it was at the office. And he said he came to take the children, you know. And then from there, he started to see the ladies trying to get close to him and whatever arguing with him and then he took out that machete and started hey don't you dare don't you dare get back you know like threatening them like yo don't come close he wants the children and then after that he was picking up the children two of them and then he was going to his to his car and they were following him you know they were following him and as they were following him he gave the children to the security guards and then he started waving that machete started waving that machete uh, I started waving it like like he's trying to hit someone with it, you know. But it is for me, it's quite funny eh? the way he was swinging, 
that's why some people took those videos and they are they they, they said it's deadpool is it is deadpool deadpool mbor you know what i'm saying so uh yeah it was a very it's very very funny video but very serious at the same time and then there you start to see him get out of the gate and then when he gets out of the gate uh he approaches his car puts the children inside the car and then there's some other guy with the blue blue jersey or blue uh jacket comes um to him and starts to try and you know uh, uh, just get close to him like hey what's happening or or whatever or challenge him you know and then you start to see Mboro taking out that that uh, it's like a scene out of a, a, a Malubutu movie or <laughs> you know those movies that those weird movies the Sekas that came out in the 2010s a Malubutu Mamji G you know <laughs> those comedic scenes and it's just waving that machete and he's chasing that guy and whenever, whenever someone gets close, he starts waving that thing, you know. And um, I believe he ends up going inside the car and then they end up leaving, you know. So when they leave, yeah, that's when I believe the video ends. So you look at that video, you start to see the community. You know, the community was uh, all over, I was surrounded, they were surrounding him, like the community was out. You know at the school yeah a lot of people were there you know really disagreeing with what he's doing you know so when you start to look at it um we started to make judgments about that we started to make judgments saying oh, what is this guy doing we didn't even know that these are his grandchildren we thought maybe is this a kidnapping what is this is this like a you know, intimidation, did these guys just come and, you know, you start to wonder a lot of things. Um, but then later on, you start to see videos of him that he took, you know. You know, you start to see videos of him. He starts to say that, look at my son. So here's now the gist of the story. Uh, basically, those children that he was collecting, there are his grandchildren. They are the children of his um son as he says in the video so he shows his son there he was with him and his son was beaten up like his eye was this big you know what i'm saying like barely opening like you know what i'm saying uh he was a roughed up for real and according to him he said that he was roughed up there or he was roughed up by those people they roughed up his son who's the father of those children they beat him up badly and they threw stones at his car like his car had dents and all that you know what i'm saying and uh he said that they have called um he said that the family of the mother of the child so the mother of the child passed away the i believe the wife of the his son and now it's the family of the mother of the children that uh, is causing uh, a lot of this uh you know custody battles for the children you know so yeah according to mboro uh he said that his child his child was called a rat and he, the child's children uh were called rats as well and you saw that uh they say he said they were he was beaten up and yeah all that violence and um yeah they are giving problems when it comes to the custody of the children uh you know the children's father is still alive uh the mother is the one that uh, passed away uh so the the mother's family you know is holding on and yeah doing all these things uh doing all these things according to more so now that we've considered all that um if there's any truth to this you know because uh, everyone just went to attack Moro. first things first you know they just saw what Mboro was doing and then they just uh, people just made conclusions that he is wrong you know what i'm saying but um, of course that's what happens when you are fighting like that or uh, are being seen uh, doing those type of actions and whatever people don't want to hear you hey hear you out they want they don't want to hear your side of the story uh you know what i'm saying but if it is true 
then that is horrible. What are those children seeing? What is that that those children are seeing? First and foremost, before we get to the debacle that happened with Mboro and that, that situation of it, his child being beat up like that. Look at that guy's eyes, this big, like... That's their, those children's father. How do, how do those children feel when they see their father like that? How do those children feel, you know, when they see their father? They Remember, they just recently lost their mother. Do you understand? You know, uh, it's not, uh, I don't really know if the mother recently passed away or she's been passed away. Um, but the thing is, those children lost their mother and now they have to see their father getting beat up you know we don't know what is the cause why the the, the side of the family does not want the father or oh, whatever is happening that is another story and that will need um, further investigation and more videos um, that we see then we can come back and discuss that side of the story but as for this part we'll talk about those children that they do not have to see their father again. Just imagine seeing your father getting whipped and he's got a, you know, an, uh, you know, an, uh, a black eye, you know, blue eye. Just imagine that. You know, it's not, it's, it's not a sight that you can uh, forget in your whole life. You cannot forget it because that's your father, that's your hero. Do you understand? You cannot be seeing. So that to me just shows that there's um, not enough planning, not enough solutions um to to make a proper solution you know uh, i wonder what is it that the father was doing so whatever it is uh, we need to know we need to have the side of the story of the family um so also on borrow side him coming with machetes and guns and whatever that's not a good side for the children as well you know, they're seeing guns, they're seeing all these things, they're being picked up and hey, people are fighting and shouting. Hey, it's, it's not a memory that those kids can forget. That thing will be uh, embedded in their memories, in their characters. You know, just pray that God intervenes and, you know, uh, in terms of like getting them to process that, you know, better. But it's not it's not wise to, to, to show children those type of environments, those type of frequencies and energies because it's not something that because this is something concerning the parents so it's hard to forget it's hard to forget this type of thing so seeing your grandfather having to fight like that seeing your father beat up then seeing uh you know your your your, your, your both sides of your family that you love as well just going back and forth it's not a good side it's not a good thing you know and also the community, seeing the community turning against your grandfather, you know, excuse me, bad lighting, you know what I'm saying? So it's not a good scene. It's not a good scene. It does not, it does not uh, help those kids in any way. Do you understand? It really, really uh, traumatizes those kids. And uh, you will only see that uh, the after effects on the <coughs> excuse me when they're older. You know what I'm saying? Unless they can process it better, you know. So that's what I, that's what I'm saying is that uh, this yeah that's not a good side. And um, now the community stepped out to try and fight Mboro. Uh And now after him leaving there. So one one other element to consider in the story is that um, you know the 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 kids, the school kids went and burned Pastor Mboro's church. Do you understand? That's the part that I don't understand. Is that what's the reason? What's the reason of uh, burning the church? Uh, what's the point? You know. If there's any point, then it must be uh, people must talk about that point. People must say that this is the reason. Because that can't be the reason only him coming with my chairs and whatever, of course. But he's been arrested. You know, the law is going to deal with that. He's been caught on on cell phones and all that. It's on social media. But um, why now do you have to go to the extreme of burning the church? I know the church is just a tent, but it's a tent that people meet every Sunday. 
and uh, have church. You know what I'm saying? It's an establishment. It's a it's infrastructure, even though it's a tent and whatever. But it's it's a thing. You know, uh, where it's a place where it's a, it's, a, it's a place for the community. You know, now the people of the community have to go to another place, to a church maybe. They're not used to. You know, they find that they have to go to another kasi. You know, for y'all who don't know what kasi is, uh, it's a township. You know, they have to go to another place. Do you understand? So, I saw some people uh, celebrating that, but what is the point? Is, is is that display enough to ban the church? If maybe you can say maybe the guy yeah, he's been exposed for maybe sacrificing children and doing all those things, and now you have the proof, and now you don't want anymore. You you are done with this church. You, you are. It's done some stuff, or it's scammed some people, or it's done some horrible things, and now you're done, you're bending it down. You know, it almost seems like you're looking for an excuse to bend down the church. You know? What's the point? Now money has to be spent and all that to erect a new thing. Do you understand? Um, what is the point? Because now you find that the church now has to move or whatever. What happens there? Do you understand? So some things are unnecessary, man, to, to bend down. You just bend down a uh, structure, you know, something that helps your community or something like that. Something that's there to create some sort of, you know, a place where people can come together on Sunday and go home after. Do you understand? The only reason I will say is if, you know, the rumors about, you know, bad rumors, you know, those rumors and whatever. If maybe you've seen that, okay, you are definite that this guy is very bad for societies. No, he does not need to be in our community. Then I can understand. So people need to come out. And uh, even the parents uh, who were there, you know, who have allowed this type of thing to happen, uh, who have um, okay this type of things to happen. Some who have probably motivated this type of thing to happen for the kids to go and bend down the structure. You know, that's my thing, because uh, I'll say that yeah, Mboro is arrested, and now you will have to answer, and then we'll get to hear all sides of the story, and then whoever is guilty will be, you know, will have to deal with the consequences. If Mboro is guilty and he's been doing some other stuff, then he will be dealt with. Do you understand? Uh, and you will be able to say your side of the story. If the if he's able to bribe police and whatever, you will be able to. You know, I don't know. Maybe people are they think maybe the the police won't do anything. You know what I'm saying? So people need to. I feel like people need to visit podcasts, man. I feel like it's not just celebrities who should visit podcasts. I feel like they must visit podcasts and talk. Like, what's happening? What is the reason? You know, because um. We find the guy who will just come back from jail and just erect another church. You know what I'm saying? So, what what what, what do you do? And that's why it's important to say what is the reason. Then one once you, once you've said your truth, then it's easy for it's a little bit difficult for Mboro to continue doing what he's doing or having his church and whatever. It'll be difficult because now you have a. Uh, that's why we have court. That's why we have a. In court, you have a lawyer who states a case and says this is the this is this is this is and this and this, this and what and what and what. You know what I'm saying? But now, if you just act, that guy can just come and say, "Oi, what do I do? Use the power of the tongue. The, the tongue for me is more powerful than the than the fists and the the the, 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 the you know punching someone or bending things. The the tongue, you know." Because even when someone bans things or whatever, it all comes from the town. First, people have to discuss it and talk. Let's go and do this. You see what, what? You understand? So, yeah, I just don't agree with that. Um, but unless people have a valid reason for that. Do you understand? So, yeah, man, uh, South Africa is very, very... Always a lot of things happening in South Africa. You know, when I saw this that post, I was like, what? He Mzanzi again. We've been going through a lot of things. Then this he Moro is busy holding machets and like it's almost like don't people get tired of being memed? Yo, ah, that was a, a, a very very weird video, and uh, but a very very clear depiction of what happens in our societies in South Africa. So 
yeah, it's very, very, yeah, very embarrassing also, you know, for whoever wants to talk nonsense about us can talk nonsense about us, you know, when they see these type of things, you know. So, yeah, man, I can't wait to see the interviews and uh, further developments from this thing. Uh, but I just thought I should do a video and uh, talk about it. And, uh, yeah, let's hope uh, everything gets resolved. Uh, and uh, it's a teachable lesson for everyone. Yeah, When you're going through South Africa, a lot of disputes about mothers and fathers and whatever. Uh, families, you know, you find mother, the mother of the children, the family is just, you know, some of the times you find them, they, they are trying to, they don't want the children to stay with their father, they fight tooth and nail so that the father can pay them, uh, you know, it's, sometimes it's a money thing, you know, and they want to be paid a monthly thing by the father, and then they know they're going to use the money on themselves, you know, it's crazy, it's a crazy thing. People are just looking for, I'm not saying this is what's happening here. People are looking for some sort of income, to get income and, you know, they use children, you know, to do that. But I'm not saying that's what's happening here, but there's some of the things that happen. You know, you think like people are doing it for from the goodness of their heart. No, some of them are not. That's why you find, sometimes you find, you know, sometimes uh, this type of thing, these social issues that we have, social issues, you know, I stem me from things similar to this, you know, where a father has to always deal with the family. Some of even the deadbeat father situation is stemming from things like this, where the father realizes there is too much stress. This this type of thing is too much stress. It's too much like a, the, the effort he has to go to, to to get access to his children. It's madness. You know what I'm saying? So almost like a very, very uh, situation that um, beats you down as a person. And you can't progress in the future or you can't look for you have to always have to deal with this energy draining situation that is unnecessary you know what i'm saying uh people should learn to share share your children their children uh, they must if they want to go to their father they go to their father if they want to go to their they, they visit they go there on weekends they go they stay there on, on weekdays do you understand they go there on holidays just like that just to share and have a common understanding but you find that there's no common understanding. You know, South Africa, hey, we need uh, uh, help, you know. We need help um, in, in our communities. Um, this type of things should not be happening, you know. Families must be amicable. Families must come to equal understanding. Do you understand? But anyways, um, yeah, man, we'll just continue to be on the lookout. Stay tuned. We'll see you on the next video. Anyways, your boy, Just King Zeri, signing out.